All right, today we are playing with the brand new season pass card, Agent Venom. So Agent Venom is a 2-4 on reveal. Set the power of all cards in your deck to 4. So a pretty interesting deck. I do have a few deck lists I do want to go through this week. This list here, though, guys, is using Darkhawk yet again. So the whole list here is Bast, Korg, Ravona, Renslayer, Agent Venom, Mystique, Sage, Black Widow, Cosmo, Rockslide, Shang-Chi, Iron Man, and Darkhawk. So, of course, the goal here is to get Agent Venom down, buffing all the cards in our deck, all the costs of our most of the costs of the cards in this deck are pretty low to begin with, making it easy for us to play multiple cards. We do have things like Korg and Rock Slide, of course, still to help with Dark Hawk. And of course, Bast here is in case we draw cards that we still want to increase their power. Agent Venom only affects cards in the deck. Bast will at least get those cards in our hand to a three power. And of course, Ravona is there in case we do still have those cards for a low cost that we just want to play. For a little bit cheaper so as always guys deck list is down below in the description and check out my channel for more mobile snap deck list let's get right into it and see what we can do today Alrighty, not bad seeing darkhawk and mystique is always fun sandbar does not affect us america chavez going down for our opponent second location here machine world and we did draw a bass which uh, bumps the Mystique. I guess now you might as well play it. Sure, we'll drop it on Sandbar. Bucky Barnes. He's kind of destroy deck. Project Pegasus, plus 5 energy this turn. Okay. So with 8 energy, what should we do here? We don't have priority, but I'm thinking here we will just play the Cosmo and Darkhawk, and we can look to Mystique the Darkhawk next turn. Alright. He plays Moon Girl. Giving us a Moon Girl. How nice of him. Darkhawk going down. 15 power at the moment. That's pretty good. And we see Shang-Chi as well. Yeah, I think we'll just Mystique here on Sandbar. Alright, plays Yondu. Getting rid of our Korg. Deathlock. Going to clear his lane and give him that Winter, uh, Winter Soldier from Bucky Barnes. Oh, and an angel, apparently. Okay. <laughs> Weakened our Darkhawk a little bit. Nice. Mystique can be an 11 as well. And we drew Iron Man. I think Iron Man on Project Pegasus is probably the best choice right now. Next turn, Black Widow and Sage can give us a lot of power in the left location. We play the Carnage there. Okay. So Null would be pretty strong here. I am Iron Man. Alright, final turn here. What do we draw? We draw Ravona. And of course, our Darkhawk and Mystique get a little weaker. I feel like contesting Machine World is kind of risky. He has to contest this. It would actually only be 9 power. It wouldn't be enough. So I think here we're just going to drop Black Widow and Sage in the left lane and see what he's got. Alright, he, he fully contests this location. Rut Row. Black Widow going down. Sage. It's not the strongest lane. 19 power. Two Novas and a Killmonger. Alright. Is that going to do it for him, though? Let's see. I think he's just off by a little bit, right? Oof. GG's. GG's. Victory. Alright, decent hand. I've just liked seeing Cosmo a lot lately, to be honest. X-23. Second location here is going to be Mojo World. Seeing this quite a bit here. And again, this is a decent turn to play Bass. We might as well play it now. Alright, plays a Wolverine. Bast going down on Mojo World. Gonna buff our Sage up to a 3. That's pretty decent. White Palace. So we'll get a random card out of these four. And we got an Arnim Zola. So we are aware that he has that now. And we drew our Dark Hawk. Well, we have priority here. I'm gonna snap because we can Cosmo here. And we can't destroy his, uh, his Wolverine with the Carnage or a Venom. I could have tried to save Cosmo for the last turn for that Arnim Zola, but... Can't always guarantee that we're going to still have priority then, and I, I tend to want to play a lot of power on the last turn with this deck, I think. We drew Iron Man, he played Deathlock, of course, Cosmos stopping that Deathlock from going off. And this is a good location. Oh, he's in a retreat. I was about to say for our ongoing cards, but Victory. GG's. <laughs> Alright, nice. Darkhawk and Mystique. It's a good combo to draw. Seeing Shang-Chi is always good. And Cosmo. Nice hand. Alright, turn two. Second location. Nidavellir, and we have Korg, so yeah, sure, we'll drop Korg on that location. I see Jane Foster here, could be Mr. Negative, if that's any hey, indication of the deck he's playing. Okoye. And we're still gonna keep our priority, right? Yep, nice. 
Fisk Tower. Ooh, we finally see Agent Venom. I think I'll drop Cosmo here in the mid location, though, while we have priority. All right. Cosmo going down. He did play something in the mid location here as well. Rock Slide. Not going to go off for him, thankfully. Turn four, we drew our Rock Slide. It's kind of awkward. Like, I, I think this game, clearly we want to just go with the Dark Hawk Mystique route, so we're going to play Rock Slide, so Agent Venom isn't really useful here. I think we drew it a little too late. I feel like playing this late, obviously, the later you play it, the less valuable it is, so... Yeah, I'll drop Rock Slide over here on Fisk Tower. Hellcow going down, and Rock Slide. That seems a little... It's a little interesting. I think Dark Hawk is just a better option overall if we're going to copy an ability. Iron Man's tempting, but yeah, we'll play Dark Hawk. All right, what's he got? He's playing his Rock. Playing his Shang-Chi that he's not going to be able to play. Hellcow discarding Bishop and Magic. Darkhawk going down. Good amount of power in this lane. And we know he doesn't have Shang-Chi, so he can't even, like, threaten that at all. So I think we'll just play Mystique over here. Actually, no, let's play Mystique in the left lane, and we'll play Widow in the right lane. That way we're, kind of, we're sort of contesting all these locations. Actually, uh, Agent Venom is more power, so we'll drop Agent Venom. Let's snap and end the turn. All right, let's see what's up. Mystique going down to copy that Darkhawk ability. Going to win us that location for now. Agent Venom going down. What's he play here? What's going on? Iron Man. I am Iron Man. Well, gets in that lane, but that's not going to do it. GG's. Nice. Victory. All right. It's not a terrible hand. Hotel Inferno, and we got Korg. Very nice. We don't always want to destroy cards, of course, because Darkhawk. But, ooh, got rid of Red Hulk. That's pretty good. And we did shuffle a rock back into the deck, which is always fun. Necrotia. Ooh, we drew a Venom turn two, which is the best time to play this card. I think we'll just drop it over there on a Hotel Inferno as well. Cool. Agent Venom going down. White Widow. Rip. That's pretty annoying if he continues to clog the lane. Alright, no cards are revealed this turn. Just have a feeling he may try and change his location somehow. So, you know what? I think we can drop Cosmo. Now, you know what? Let's drop it on Lemuria. More of a chance he wants to play cards there. Alright, that was a good choice, turns out. Eh, it's kind of awkward, but I think here I'll just drop Rock Slide in the mid location. Cosmo going down, gonna stop whatever he played there on Lemuria. Rock Slide, shuffling two more rocks into the deck. Debris, nice. Doc Gok gonna pull down our Sage. That's not terrible. Is it a 10 power Sage? Or no, 8. Yeah, 8. Turn 5 here. We did see, we do see Dark Hawk. That's pretty good. We drop Dark Hawk over there behind the Cosmo for protection. Alright, let's see what he's got. Dark Hawk going down. It's pretty strong. Dark Hawk. Magic. He did try and change that location, turns out. A lot of people playing Magic lately. He plays one of his rocks over there on Lemuria. And we do see Iron Man now. I guess we'll Iron Man this location. Yeah, that's fine. Can't exactly bet on seeing Mystique. And if we do, we can still play it in that mid lane to double our double. The four power Iron Man going down. Man. Pretty good. Up to 16. Oof. A Hobgoblin. Minus eight. Putting us at zero. That's pretty sad. But we do see Mystique, which I think is going to be solid for us. So we'll just drop Mystique here. Let's play Ravona for a couple extra power over in that location. We're going to snap and end the turn. Despite the Hobgoblin, I think it's 16 power in this lane. I am Iron Man. Yeah, let's go. Ravona going down. He didn't contest it. Shadow King going to bring our stage to a zero. And Titania not going to be enough. GG's. Mystique is the MVP of this deck, no doubt. This deck is definitely a ton of fun. Even if you don't see Agent Venom, obviously just your ongoing cards with Mystique copying them is so strong. I find Cosmo, of course, to be a very strong card in the current meta, and things like Sage tend to always do pretty well. Thanks for watching. Check out my channel for more mobile snap deck list. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Good luck in your games and have a good one.